Hello, I am standing in the hottest cornfield in the United States right now. Uh, you can see where we are on our milk line. This corn was April planted. This was sprayed with Veltima uh, first week of July. And so it is August 24th now. Any fungicide that was sprayed in July uh, is no longer uh, probably effective. And what we're looking at is tar spot that has come in the area. We're specifically in Spencer County, but I've talked to several people who have tar spot. Pretty much it's shown up all across Southwest Indiana right now. Um, so, you know, I'm uh, on the, here's the ear leaf of this plant here. Uh, the, the big question is, do we spray again with us only being, you know, 10, 14 days away from black layer? And we don't have enough data as an industry to, to actively say, yes, you should, or no, you shouldn't. At this point, you know, we think it possibly could become a harvestability issue, um, you know, because once you get tar spot and, and if we continue to have conditions that are conducive, so if we continue to get seven plus hours of leaf wetness, and if we continue to um, have these little lesions sporulate, then it will, it will continue to spread and blow up. Um, and that, that can eventually lead to uh, stock degradation and, and again, harvestability. Um, and where they've had tar spot really bad, uh, it will just take the whole plant down. So we are doing some testing to see, you know, even this far along in corn, um, if a late application will help or not. And it definitely seems to be hybrid specific and of course our planning dates. But I mean, overall, it's not terrible um, with tar spot as I'm walking through this, but something that we're definitely evaluating. And, you know, I would say it's, it's at least on a leaf or a few leaves of every plant that I'm walking right now. Um, so in two weeks, you know, if, if we have the right environment conditions, it could be on every single leaf, um, every single plant, it could be in every single field around here, or it could stop and, and that's the end of the story. So we will see, but if you are um, wondering if you should do one or not, or you want to see, I think it's definitely worth uh, taking a look and helping us collect some local data. Um, if you have not sprayed a fungicide at all, then I would highly, highly recommend getting out there and protecting um, or at least looking and, and looking at the disease pressure you have in your canopy and figuring out if you um, need to try and save your crop. So hopefully that helps. Just a reminder, tar spot are these black little lesions um, that you cannot rub off. So don't mistake in it for uh, insect poop. You can't rub them off if you lick your finger they can't rub off. And once we have these spores here, they will overwinter. Even though this uh, will go to soybeans next year, it will be corn the following year. And some of the best practices, of course, are going to be um, one to two shots of fungicide. We like, you know, right, right before tassel at tassel, and then, you know, just plan on coming back at maybe R3. Um, our four to finish off the season. We don't want to be in in this late. Um, you know, obviously our, our fungicide is gone and disease has escaped us. So the other things, obviously rotating your crop. Um, if you work your ground, then uh, that that helps to break up any of the, the trash that this will be on, um, helps to bury some of those spores. So those are just a couple management practices.